Every body vlogging in England is just not the same as vlogging abroad, is it? Please excuse this. Hi, if you're new here, welcome. It is Sid now. We are doing a vlog from England. We've just got back from Portugal, and the Portugal vlogs will still be coming, but we wanted to just mix it up a little bit. We've got some new clothes actually to show you which we'll show you throughout this video uh we've done a little haul well not a little haul it's actually quite a lot of stuff so it'll be a big haul this i'm back on my skin medication uh if some of you don't know i'm on the skin medication which is varacutane accutane isotretoin isotretoin and one of the side effects is that your lips literally peel off and my lips have actually been fine but for some reason the sides of my lips have decided to peel off this time around and i've got two weeks in isolation now so we just got back from portugal on monday and obviously one of the repercussions of us going away was that we had to come home and isolate for two weeks now it's actually the same thing for spain the balearic islands and the canary islands which is annoying but it's life we're very very lucky where we can work from home got stuff to be getting on with at home very lucky that we can film separately so yeah we're gonna be vlogging a little bit today just update you i've got a lot going on actually which i was gonna talk about but i think i'm gonna leave it a little while longer not to leave you hanging but there's a massive shift happening in my life and i will talk about it in due course very soon but um is like a something i need to discuss with my family first that, that actually sounds like i'm either getting married or i'm pregnant and it's none of them too let me just tell you that for now got a covid test downstairs need to take that I, I don't feel like i have to give um an explanation because we made the decision that we made to go away and we we stayed very safe stayed at molly's family home in portugal she's actually still there a lot of people ask why molly's still there um she's she can work from home too like us but she works from her laptop so she works for a big company in london and they're happy for her to do everything that she can do at her home in england she can do in portugal so she's staying out there with her family for a few more weeks um instead of coming home and sitting at home and working she might as well stay in the sun i've got a new bag just remembered from Balenciaga which I will show you maybe at the end of the video but for now I'm going to jump in the shower and I've got a massive misguided parcel and we've actually got a discount code for you all. Hope everyone is doing well, hope you all stay insane, obviously life's getting a little bit more back to normal, I feel like this is the new normal, wearing masks is the new normal but um yeah let's get in the shower. Hello baby. I think we showed these in our holiday vlog. These are from Zara Home slippers. They are so comfortable. Me, Ma, and Sid all got the same. But good morning, everyone. <laughs> back from, I was going to say back from Parry. I don't even know where that's from. Um, Back from, where did we go? We went to Portugal and we are home now. And if you're keeping up with what's going on in the world we have to self-isolate for two weeks so yeah basically stay home for two weeks this morning i'm gonna do a covid test which is a little bit exciting i guess i'm sure some of you guys have probably done this by now um but yeah managed to get one me and sid both managed to get one for when we came back and i'm gonna do this now to send off this morning it doesn't affect the self-isolation but just something we both wanted to do i don't know why i fancied this i think i saw someone i think it might have been emma emma's rectangle i don't know why i've got this hood up um i had like a breakfast smoothie and i was like i could really have that right now um so i've literally just made one and i'll tell you what i put in it oat milk most of it is ice. I probably did ice to like 
most of it. Um, a scoop of chocolate protein powder and a banana. So pretty good for you. And I actually think these are really filling. And sometimes I add a shot of coffee, which is like a wrap. Shot of coffee. Stunning. That breakfast was actually lovely. I forget how much I love um, a breakfast smoothie. Very exciting. Got a massive parcel from Misguided, which I'm going to show you. I'm going to get showered, washed and dressed. And then I'm going to go through this. Sid has the same. Misguided have very kindly sponsored this part of the video. Always nice to come home to some new clothes. But um, yeah, literally not even open this. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to get showered. And then I will go through it. Woo! And try some bits on for you guys and yeah i need to sort myself out sort this mess out probably wash my hair so big misguided parcel let's see what's in here by the way just come into the spare room of my house and how clean and white and studio vibes is this why have i never done all the little cool snippets in here before i always stay downstairs and it's always just a bit distracting with a lot going on in the background and this is like perfect can't remember what i even ordered now before i go through these do want to quickly remind you that misguided have kindly given us a discount code for you all it is sid l20 not sid and l it's sid l20 you get 20% off but that is not on the playboy collection this is actually from one of their old playboy collections still definitely recommend checking that it's one of my favorite things on misguided and not on the sale as well so everything else i can see i've got some nighttime stuff that like evening wear chilled stuff i do a lot of hauls on my um so you can hear me through the rest of it i do a lot of hauls on my instagram stories and stuff but never in a vlog and i like watching people's vlogs when they just kind of show their little buys from that week so first of all as you can see i'm actually in some pj shorts right now um i'm in between like being hot and cold in england i'm like Got my jumper on, but then my legs, my nice tanned legs are um, a bit hot and flustered, so let's mix and match. So I needed more shorts, saw these, was obsessed with the kind of um, contrast stitch detail, nice high-waisted shorts, so let's put these on. These are cool, I needed some like this. By the way, if you see me looking over here, it's because I've got a big mirror, so I can give my verdict as well as you guys giving it. Yeah, these kind of shorts are such a vibe at the moment. They're a little bit longer than your little beachy ones, but that's good because there's no reveal of the booty when you're out and about. And yeah, I love these. I'm actually gonna keep these on right now. Another pair of shorts. I am such a short girl, honestly. So I got these shorts in a size 10, by the way. I'm pretty much an eight slash 10 throughout things. Yeah, I think pretty sure everything's 8 or 10 here. But another pair of shorts. I think these are a little bit shorter. We will see. But these come in so many different colours, so I really like these. But I wanted to try one colour. And then if I really liked the fit, I'll probably go back and buy all the other colours. So, oh, these are good. Oh. <laughs> okay. I, I really like the white ones, but this fit is literally like crop jogger. You know when you grab your old joggers and you cut them? That was like a lockdown trend. These are literally cut down joggers. I'm not kidding. They fit unreal. Wow, I'm so happy. I'm going to get the other colours. There was like black, pink, navy, I think. Oh my god, there was nude actually. Oh my god, I'm obsessed! Hope you can see how cute these are. These are tiny but shorter than the white ones. But guys, they're very happy. B and I have just got back from holiday and these are the kind of shorts I wanted. But... You live in land. So since forever, I've loved misguided pyjamas. This is like a little crop with the cutest frill detail. This also came in a lot of other colours. And then the bottoms, how cute. Just little shorts again. And I like that pyjamas like this, you can wear on holiday kind of thing. So I actually have some pyjama shorts like this. And I wore them quite a lot around the pool to the beach. So if you had a little pink bikini top... How cute would that be? We should do a video soon where 
you guys pick our outfits. That would be cool. Got a big oversized t-shirt. Really nice. This says 90s baby. I am a 90s baby. Quickly guess when I was born. 1997. I liked that this is quite retro. A little bit vintage kind of vibe with the font. You know me if you've been following us for a while. I love a baggy t-shirt. I'd say a hype at the moment for me personally. If you want to wear a t-shirt dress but you are a little bit conscious that if you're going to sit down things might come on show, wear either shorts like this or circle shorts. So if you've got some little pink, that would be cute with this, little pink circle shorts, they don't even need to be on show, they just need to be kind of as short as this so that if you do like go out for lunch or something, if there's a little bit on show it will be your circle shorts. So it's in a large. So for height reference, if you want it to be like a t-shirt dress like this, how cute of a little pink, oh my god, I'm going to steal Elle's pink Gucci shoulder bag with this, that'll be really cute. Um, for height reference, I'm like 5'7", five, 5'8", five, so if you're a little bit shorter, it'll be a little bit longer. I got a bit distracted, I saw this shirt, and I'm obsessed. If you, again, know me and Elle, you know we're obsessed with flannel shirts. Oh my god, this is so cool, not with this top. <laughs> oh, well, you could. Oh my god, I love shirts so much. If you ever want it, right, if you think you can't dress and you just want some, like, a style tip, buy an oversized flannel shirt. I say flannel shirt because it's a very American term, but this is like a check shirt kind of vibe. If you can't find one baggy enough, go in the men's section. Honestly, any colour works. So imagine this was a plain white top. How cool does that look? Or even if you had it with shorts, it even goes with your shorts, doesn't it? Cover this because the pink is throwing me off. I literally promise you, if you wear a flannel shirt, you will look sick. You will look cool. And then obviously, let me just show you the length. If you could wear this as a dress as well. Really, really nice length. I love these colours. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. So you could tie it up, tie it up, do it up, wear it as a dress. Now, round the shirt. Round the shirt. Round your waist. Really cool. I saw someone say recently that don't wear your shirt around your waist. It's like you're trying to hide stuff. Ignore that, you look cool. I really wanted some jumpsuits, so I feel like when I'm on the go, I can't, I'm literally the laziest person on earth. I, hands up, my name's Sydney Crouch, and I'm lazy as hell. So jumpsuits are such a hit for me because it's one item of clothing and you're good to go. That's kind of why I like shirts, I think, because I'd wear that as a dress if that's one item. We live in England, we're, once the summer's done, it's going to start getting cold, unfortunately. So I thought, let's get a jogger-style jumpsuit, and we're good to go. So let me check this on, because obviously it's black, it's hard to see. One sec. This is the jumpsuit. I feel like you could dress this up or dress this down. Don't forget your guitar. But I love this. How cute. really, really like this. I'm pleasantly surprised. I didn't think I'd like this as much as I do. I feel like the tighter sleeves give it that kind of more dressy look, but then it's literally jogger material i hope you can see so that comfort is literally first and foremost i have another back up because i've got no one to assist me really really like this very good the ankles are good too other jumpsuit oh it's like a like a rain mac what is that called like a shell suit this is really cool this isn't i would this is probably like a mama outfit this probably won't be everyone's style. Not even in the sense that it's a jumpsuit because I feel like a jumpsuit is very suited to everyone. But I understand that the material would probably be really jarring to someone. But I actually really like this um, this material. When I went to Venice last, like around Christmas. Was it Christmas? November, end of November. It was raining a lot. So even though I was kind of wearing shell suits as like a fashion thing, it was actually really handy because I was... Um, covered for the rain and I like that it literally does do up to like a <laughs> a skydiving suit but I'm here for it I'm honestly here for it the colour is so cool I think I've got one more outfit sorry if you're not enough to sleep this is a suit and this is burnt orange this is the brightest thing I've got and let's put it on Sid the boss here we go so first of all I'm a little bit annoyed with myself because I do this every time when I see a blazer online, I'm like, do I get my size or do I size up? Always size up in a blazer, whether it's two sizes up, four sizes up, one size up. This is a size 10. I think I thought because it was going with trousers that I'd be okay, but it does kind of like 
fill apart. Um, it's fine though. I will literally just swap this for a bigger size. It doesn't take away the fact that this is a beautiful suit. This is so girl boss. This is like Beyonce walking in, accepting her Grammy, being like, thank you. Really love it. I'm here for it. The colour is unreal. If you size up in this blazer quite a bit and added maybe another button, this could be a really cool blazer dress too. Also, covering the boobs, these trousers are really cool. So, as you can see, it's a really statement belt that comes with it. And, yeah, so these trousers could literally be worn with a really cute bodysuit or a crop top. These do get bought separately, so you can buy them separately and wear them separately. You don't have to wear it as a set, but I wanted it as a suit. And, yeah, I think this would be really cool for work. No, it wouldn't be cool for work. It's a little bit revealing. This isn't to say you can't wear something underneath. And that is everything, people. So I'm going to chuck on some normal clothes, and then we'll crack on with the rest of the day. Can't lie to you isolation life you don't end up doing too much but we'll see what we can get up to okay i'm all showered washed and dressed and i'm gonna show you my bits from misguided like i said i've just put on my first thing because obviously i'm gonna try on some bits for you guys and oh my god i'm literally obsessed with these these are pajamas how cute are they oh my god this is such a bad angle i'll have to do a better one in a sec but these are stunning. They're pajamas, like I just said. And I feel like I look brown. Um, so I've got some pajama shorts and they're like satin. They're not satin, what are they? It's like a shirt material. But it's really nice and lightweight and then like a matching shirt and the, the pattern is like stars. Um, like astronomical space, some shooting stars, some, I'm not really sure what they're called, but I'm literally obsessed with these. I got them a size up, so I got a size 12, just so they're not like clingy, because I don't really like tight pajama shorts, so I have actually had to roll them over, but I love these so much, and I think every size was in stock when I looked, so yeah oh my god first thing i'm very excited about so let me look through the rest and show you guys some more bits so this is a pink t-shirt this stuff is really nice quality hidden hills calabasas los angeles united states of america so i thought that was so cute missing la one of our favorite places can't go there right now love a top where it says LA. I'm gonna put this on quick. You could wear this as a dress. Like, obviously, be a bit careful, but definitely like by the pool, by the beach, if you're going away. Um, yeah, you could 100% get away if this is a dress. If you're, especially if you're a bit shorter. Um, but yeah, this is what the back looks like. Or you could obviously put cycling shorts on, which would look really cute. I've got these shorts on underneath. So if you had like shorts poking out. Well, this I'm excited about. So like, I'll just put this straight on and then show you. But it is a cute little co-ord. Okay, that should be a better angle. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so this co-ord is so cute. I wish it came in time for our holiday because this is just ideal. Again, it makes me look a little bit brown. But this is like a linen... Oh, it's got pockets too. Linen nude short cord. And yeah, I love this. I love the colour. Again, like I just said, their quality is really, really nice at the moment. I hope you can see like the details. And then the top is just like a v-neck um, with some balloon sleeves and then the cuffs go in. But yeah, I'm a sucker for a cord. And yeah, I feel like this is just really cute. I feel like this would suit a lot of people. I feel like I went between like summer and winter and like autumn because obviously English weather isn't the most reliable. So I didn't just stick to summery items. I did get a couple bits for winter because because winter comes around sooner than we think. This is very cool. This is a nude leather jumpsuit. 
and I'm gonna put this on right now. Okay, I'm obsessed. This is so cute. Oh, I do wish it had pockets there, but never mind. This is so flattering. I was a bit like, I don't know whether to get a size 10, which is what I usually am, or a size 12, because I didn't know whether it was just gonna like stick to me. But it actually fits really nice, and I feel like this is so cool. I feel like this is like a jack of all traits. Like you could wear this. I planned to wear this kind of to an event or a party. Obviously, like I said, when it gets a little bit colder but to be fair a day like today is not hot and i don't think i would feel too hot in this um but yeah maybe going into london bang out a couple of meetings go out for dinner go to an event that kind of thing so it's like day to night um i think i'd wear it with trainers but you could definitely dress it up and i think they do this in different colors as well but i just thought this color was really cool and like i said again all the quality and all of this stuff is unreal i love this i think this is so cool i love an outfit where it's just done for you you don't have to style it but i'd add some accessories maybe some gold earrings um yeah i'm not sure but i really really like this i think they definitely have it in black and possibly brown and i really like how there's a belt so you can like cinch yourself in this is something else leather leather shirt which i thought was quite cool and thinking about it i do actually have a wine leather dress that i got not that long ago but i think my mum will love this actually you could wear it as like a jacket or with like a bodysuit or something i'm gonna try and find something to pair this with this is a set so i'll put this on and then maybe we can put a shirt over the top I think this is a cycling shorts set. I honestly, I don't know where the cycling shorts came from me. I think through lockdown, I started working out more at home. So I was wearing cycling shorts to work out because they're actually really comfortable. I probably, maybe I would wear them to the gym. Um, but yeah, if you know me, you know I'm not the biggest, everyone's just come home. You know I'm not the biggest fan of my legs, but I'm getting used to having them out and stuff. So yeah, I've been wearing shorts a little bit more. Um, and they're very comfortable, especially to travel in. So I'm gonna try this on for you guys. This comes as a set, which I really like. This is simple. Again, it's just a t-shirt with cycling shorts, matching colors. And they have quite a lot on their website. I think they've got like loads of different colors. And the ones I saw first, which I almost got, were maternity. So they've got loads of options. Uh, plus, normal, petite. So, yeah, really nice. Again, so comfortable. And I really like this colour. It's like a grey, very light purple blue colour. And very stretchy. And I got this in a size 10. And, like I said, it comes as a set, which is very handy. Um, so I'm just going to chuck this shirt over the top. I probably wouldn't put this together, but it's just to give you an idea of how I would like wear it over something else. So come like that. And it's, yeah, it's probably, again, like if you're short, you could probably wear it as a dress. I wouldn't have the guts to do that. Um, but yeah, I really like the colour. It's like a wine purple colour. To be fair, it doesn't look that bad with this outfit. Um, and it's got black buttons, so you could obviously wear it done up. Maybe you could wear it done up with shorts. That could be quite cool. I really like this, and I got this in a size, I think I got it in a size 12, so it's a little bit bigger. I've got a blazer, which again, a blazer would go nice with this, but probably not this colour. This is like a mint green, and I've got literally blazers in every colour. I think apart from this colour. Colours traditionally, I wouldn't say they go. But I think it looks kind of cool with like the pastels. So it's like pastel blue or grey with pastel green. And yeah, I like how the shorts come out the bottom. Honestly, I'm just experimenting at the moment. I feel like this is really quite cool. Like Obviously, if you saw like, I don't know. Selena Gomez or Kylie walk down the road in this, she'd be like, yeah, that's quite cool. And I think I got the blazer, yeah, in a size 12, so little hack. I mean, it's quite obvious, but if you want something to be a little bit more oversized, just go up a size and yeah, that would be the idea. 
I'm not sure how this will look. These shorts are part of a cardboard with a white t-shirt that has black stitching and it looked really cool. But the top was out of stock. But they did have the reverse black stitching with the black top with white stitching was out of stock in the shorts so I just got opposite and I thought maybe they can kind of go because it's still black and white and the same style um but if not they're just two separate items and I really like jogger shorts at the moment like I said I've been wearing a little bit more shorts so yeah I'll try this one and see if it goes probably won't but lesson learned and yeah this is really thick really nice material so i can't tell if this goes or not um obviously the white and the white would have been like ideal i really like the material of both of these though and i actually i've started to size up in shorts i think i got a size 12 in the pajamas as well just so the shorts weren't so fitted because I actually think it's a bit more flattering when they're not like stuck to you I think it makes I don't know it just makes for me personally it makes my legs look a bit smaller but yeah let me know what you think and I'm not mad at it I'm not mad at the black and the white again the white would have been better with the white but I think it still looks quite cool last couple bits I don't think I can actually physically do a haul slash online shop without getting a jumper it's a bit of an illness like i don't know how i've got so many jumpers my mum will actually scream if she sees me get another one but i just love jumpers summer winter i feel like they've upped their sizes this is a size large and it feels really big but i love that oh i just love jumpers and this says Manhattan yeah this is just so slouchy this would look really nice with cycling shorts again and it's like a grey navy colour again I don't think I can do a haul without getting a pair of these which is joggers I do not need any more pair of joggers any more pairs of joggers um I'm not actually gonna try these on just because like I don't think you'll get the full vision I have nothing to put them with I I'm a true believer that you cannot have too many pairs of joggers. Honestly, I love joggers so much. I don't know how they've not been in fashion for that long. Like, I know they go in and out of fashion and people have worn them for years. But the jogger trend is here to stay. Yeah, got these in a pastel yellow. Because I think I have every single other colour you can possibly have. And I think that is everything. Look at this aftermath of the haul. <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna tidy all of this up now <laughs> what a mess and that's what you're balanced on cushions so professional i was editing a vlog before that as well actually so i'm gonna upload that now i think there's gonna be more than i said um because on vlog three and in the vlogs we're like we're day five of our holiday and we went for like 14 days and there's quite a lot of content so yeah good news it's gonna be a lot more vlogs than you think so outfit of the day it's the new outfit so put the shorts and the shirt just with a little white crop top and i tell you who's gonna love this nanny judy you watch she loves an oversized shirt like shirt <laughs> i knew it <laughs> on you. oh, you'll lovely. steal it won't you that's Isn't all i can nice? wear at the minute it's lovely i like the light colors that's fabulous you haven't been on the vlog in a while, say hi. Oh, no, not like this. You look lovely. Hi. I look browner than you, though. Of course you do. Ah, <sighs> no, you're always tan, though. It's nice, actually. It's not, I knew it. Well, the problem I've got... The Miss Guy did. How the, nice, isn't it? So here's the COVID test. It literally comes in, like, um, the packaging that you get from Amazon Prime. And it's all in here. You literally just go on the Gov website if you want to get one. It's free and yeah you take it send it off and then they send you results really easy i've done one before and yeah it's better to be safe than sorry so i will do that shortly but um i'm actually gonna unpack a little bit first because it's wednesday and i got back monday and this is still the situation so 
yeah, I need to actually unpack a bit. This is my hand luggage case. And not gonna lie to you, I do actually have a hack. Well, this is Molly's hack. Wash everything before you get home. So obviously we were fortunate enough to be in an apartment. So we washed everything before we packed our case so that when you got home, you literally just put it all back in your wardrobe instead of having to like put it in piles for washing. I know my nan literally hates it when I got home from trips because she's literally like, wow, the next week of washing is just gonna be your stuff. So everything in this case is clean, ready to go in my cupboards, but Obviously, a lot of it's really summery, and I don't know what England weather's saying, so I don't know where to put it. So, I might put it in the loft. And then another hack, put all your shoes in hand luggage, because shoes are heavy. And nine times out of ten, they don't weigh hand luggage. This lighting is actually trash. Should face the other way, daylight. But yeah, this will be me for a little while. And then, I need to show you my new bag, actually. Oh my god, I don't know if you can see my legs are literally i'm a lizard <gasps> guys i'm really sorry if you're grossed out by stuff like this but i'm a lizard does anyone else get like this when they get back from home from holiday obviously i'm gonna moisturize and i do moisturize every day but i literally wake up looking like a lizard oh, what is going on i need to exfoliate don't i but then i don't want my tan to come off p.s how cute anything to get out of unpacking by the way this is from skinny dip Oh my god, I'm obsessed. I had a Tinkerwell one too, but I went with Bambi for now. I'll swap over in a couple of days. Okay, it's a little bit later. Um, I've just been doing a bit more work. This came, which I'm so excited about. It is my Cineworld Unlimited black card. And I'm sure you guys know how much we love going to the cinema in this country and other countries. Any time of year, me, Sid and Molly all have an unlimited card. Molly's actually had it for a long time, um, and I don't know, it's never really something that I thought about, even though I go so often. So yeah, it's just a monthly subscription and you end up saving a lot more money. I think it's like £17 a month. Um, obviously, if you go to the cinema like once or twice, that's how much it's going to cost, that it's so expensive to go. So yeah, you literally get your money back if you go a couple of times a month and... We probably go more than that every month, obviously. Cinemas open, I think, in two days. The 31st, they open. Won't be able to go straight away because of isolation, but very excited to go back. And the black card is basically, you get that after a year of having the red card. So I've had the membership for a year and then I got the black card. And you just get more discounts on the snacks. So... Cine World Black Card. Very excited about it. My mouth is so sore. I'm not really sure why. It's like a wisdom tooth is coming through or something. Yeah. Just thought I'd let you know about that. I've literally not done anything else. Oh, to be honest. Okay, it's a bit later now and I'm going to put on some Netflix. I think I'm going to watch No Strings Attached, which I don't think I've seen. But I fancy just like a chilled, funny bit of love um kind of film so yeah i think i'm gonna put that on i'll have dinner soon um i think i've got spag ball which is fun it's still really bright outside i've been online shopping and i've not bought anything yet i've been saying i want to get like a tote bag is it a tote bag like a bigger nice bag for like overnight bag like basically like an overnight bag that's not a suitcase and um yeah, a little bit nicer than ones that I've got because I tend to use overnight bags quite a lot. Also, just like a bigger airport bag. Um, it's just something that I lack. I don't really have many like big bags. So I've been looking online and I've actually seen one that I like. Um, and I think Molly May had this in her Ibiza vlog. So yeah, I'm not sure whether I'll get it yet, but this is what it is. It is YSL. Uh, and yeah it's just like a nice easy tote bag and it looks quite big so we'll see i might buy that I might not but yeah that's what i've been doing basically and i'm gonna watch this film have dinner and then that's probably gonna be my day so i'm gonna end my part of the vlog here hope you guys have enjoyed this ulcer is really hurting but what can you do see you guys soon 
love you so much goodbye oh. how weird is that shape <laughs> okay so this is gonna be a mini quick not even unboxing because it's not even in a box but I have a new bag and I'm gonna give a really quick backstory two years ago was it two years ago 2019 year ago year and a half ago on my brother's birthday we went shopping at Bista Village and if you don't know where Bista Village is it's like an outlet and I saw a bag that I really liked in Balenciaga and basically how outlets work if you don't know it's kind of like stock that's um for either from like the last season or stuff that's in the sale and they basically won't bring up they bring it back so if there's one of it it's probably like a one-off and um you will struggle to find it anywhere else so i saw and i have a picture from the day of this bag okay and it was the 27th of feb 2019 literally have the day and i was like oh my god i need it i need it i need it i need it i was so obsessed i don't normally get like that with bags on the get-go like first off i normally have to like something for a while and i was like i'm gonna get it and basically that month i just bought my car and um <laughs> my nan was like really you're gonna get that bag when you've just bought a car um so <laughs> basically they nan and al talked me out of it and um it wasn't like mega but I just bought my car outright and then I was gonna buy a bag. It was just, it was a bit silly. Moral of the story, Elle has always said to me, if you want something, think about it. And if you keep thinking about it, you really, really want it. And I kind of thought about it loads, wanted it, tried to look for it, couldn't find it anywhere. Since then, I've been looking into getting vintage bags, blah, 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 blah. Went on this vintage bag website, was actually looking to get a Louis Vuitton vintage bag, ended up end, <laughs> ended up on the Balenciaga section, found this bag after having forgot about it for a bit. But then I was like, no, I feel like it's fate. And this doesn't fall under vintage because it's not actually, well, maybe it is because it's like hard to get hold of, but I found the bag. And so this is secondhand, but I think it's such a good idea if you want to save a little bit of money so this was a little bit cheaper than when i saw it at vista and that was an outlet so it would have been cheaper anyway so i got it kind of like say this is retail outlet secondhand but it's really good condition this website is i recommend it if you think you can resist buying everything but um here it is ah! it's not for everyone but i love it so much i don't even know what this bag is called i feel like it's one of the city bags name of the brand that resells it so basically it's very legit they get it from the seller and they auth authentic my brother laughs at me all the time when i say this authenticate it so they check it's real and they make sure that it's in good condition for the price that the person sold it so you'll never get scammed kind of thing i got it for a really good price you can also offer uh, make offers so i kind of bartered for this and I'm obsessed. It comes with a really nice strap. Like I said, I've wanted this for a while. So I feel like a year and a half want it in a bag. Why not treat yourself? Very different to all the other bags I have. Most of my bags are Louis. So this is very different. Just for a rough guess on the price, it's like 400, 500 pound cheaper than what it would be brand new. So really, really happy with that. There's literally the odd little you can't even see <laughs> little wear on the corner which you get with any bag but i'd probably do that to the bag myself within a day so yeah this is my new bag i am obsessed i came back from holiday took waiting for me and um, yeah again my nan has eyed it up she's like i can't wait to use it it's a really nice size i feel like it's a size bag that i don't have and yeah so here is my little bag unboxing very to the Point. didn't make you wait too much and yeah i love it. it's my baby i hope you're all doing well sending you all so much love we love you and we'll see you in our next video bye